Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to another episode on your favorite Little Sly YouTube channel. So today uh, I have got a question in our WhatsApp channel um, where the question is, um, can we extract the request body using bean shell post processor? So this, in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract. I mean, like usually we used to uh, respond, I mean, extract the, uh, we we used to extract the response body or the response header or we used to extract both from the response body and the response header but now in this video i'm going to show you how to use uh, the bean shell post processor to extract the response sorry the request uh, from the request body so for that i'm going to use a dummy sampler and i'm going to add some values to it and from there i'm going to extract and i'll show you how to uh, extract that value and i'll just print that value for you so before we move on to this video, this is me, Asan Chanukam. I welcome you all to our Little Sla YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. And uh, thank you so much for watching the video. And uh, I have got a lot of queries uh, for pe from people who are uh, currently in manual um, or functional testing and they want to move or they want to shift their career to performance testing. So I remember some of uh, you have messaged me. So please do uh, reach out to me in my WhatsApp channel or you can reach, up, uh, reach out to me directly. And I will explain you uh, or I'll guide you through the steps and it's it's again a, a big process but still uh, i'll i'll be with you in the process of the transformation and also i have um, previously transformed a few people from performance testing to devops and some of them some of the training sessions are in progress so if you have someone who is really interested you can also please join uh, the transformation process uh, it's, it's again going to be a big journey but still if you're interested you can join me and there are like uh, several sessions are, are also going to be part of uh the in the upcoming days so the next plan is going to be like to have a kubernetes session uh aks kubernetes session and that's in progress uh so most probably i'll send you a form, formal invite and yeah so coming back to this uh original video what we are seeing is to extract the request body using bean shell post processor so for that uh, let me create a template let me create from the template and for that i'm going to use a uh a recording just a recording template just to create all the necessary uh http request defaults a cookie manager I mean, we are going to use these but still uh let me just enable it that's how i normally do it so that's why i'm great doing it and uh, recording controller i'm removing it i'm not going to use any record remote recording controller and inside the thread group i'm going to add a dummy sampler so in this dummy sampler i'm going to add a value in the request data and that's going to be welcome to little sla youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and in this video we are going to see how to extract the request data right so this is your first step that is creating the uh, dummy sample I mean, like uh, i'm having a dummy sample so in case in your scenario if it is a http request yes you can very well use it so to extract the value what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a i'm going to i just right clicked i already selected the dummy sampler i'm going to add a post processor and that's going to be a bean shell post processor so under the bean shell post processor i'm going to create a, a script and let me enter the code so the first line is going to be string request data and let me define it it's going to be previous dot get so any previous sampler any previous sampler to it i'm going to get that value and then i'm going to save it in this value which is going to be dummy request data so what it is, I have extracted the value. I mean, I have extracted the request, uh, uh, any data from the request, I'm going to extract it. And then I'm going to save it in the request data value. And that value, I'm going to save it in the dummy request data. So then uh, let me just copy this. So request data. And then, yep. So now I have set the, let me just, and add the comment. So I'm, I have set the extracted request data to 
this j meter variable right and now what i'm going to do is okay now we have extracted it right so let me uh, just run it and i'll show you before that let me save this under this bin drive and then let me create a new folder and that's going to be bean shell minus post processor so inside this i'm going to create the file bean shell underscore post processor let me save it and let me run it so that i can just check whether everything works fine so in the view results tree yep everything works fine i have uh this particular value in the request so if you see i have this value in the request data and i have nothing in the response data so that's the only thing i have in the request data and in this step i have extracted the value and then i have pasted or i have uh, saved this or i have set the value in this request uh, dummy request data so now is the next step to show you whether i have uh, extracted i'm adding another dummy sampler so I have added it here. Yep, I have added another dummy sampler. And in this part, I'm going to paste the request data. So I'm going to send this, and I'm going to show you what did I extracted it, right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to paste it in the response data. So this will show, or uh, this will be in the response data. This will show you what did I extracted in the previous request. Right, so I have uh, I have extracted this value, and then I'm going to print this in the response data. Let me save it, and let's run this. So the second dummy sampler in the response data in the response body, you can see the previous request. What did I extract? So in the previous request, if you see, in the first request we have got this value. And I have extracted that using the bean shell post processor, and then I have uh, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to display that in the response data in the second dummy sample. So this is what I did. It's very it's very simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, get the request data from the dummy sampler or from any of the HTTP requests, and then you're going to paste it in the next request. So uh, it's not with just only the uh, uh, dummy sampler. I can even show you with one of the HTTP sampler as well. Uh, so for that, what I'll do is let me uh, create another HTTP request. And in the HTTP request, let me paste the uh, server name. So I'm going to just give a get get request. Just to, just I want to try with the get request. I'll show you what happens when we give a head get request. So in case if you are if you are giving any values as part of the parameters or as part of the headers, so you can even get that as well. So in this one, I'm going to uh, I have given the HTTPS protocol, the pet store, and then the path and uh, the type of the request. And now let me add the same bean shell post processor to the HTTP request. Uh, sorry, let me copy this one and let me paste it. So the only thing which I'm going to change is I'm going to change the name of it and that's going to be minus HTTP request, right? So now let me get this value. And then uh, let me add another, uh, where is that? Dummy sampler. So let me add another dummy sampler. So here I'm going to print the value, right? So that's what we do. Let me delete these values and then yep, I have pasted it. Let me uh, parameterize it. So what did I do is, so previously I have extracted the value of this dummy sample at the request values. And now I have, I'm going to extract the value, like whatever, it's not just extracting uh, only the particular values, it's extracting the entire request body, the entire request body, whatever I have in the server name, the HTTP request type, everything, right? And then let me enter this, uh, let me print this value, run, view results tree, HTTP request. 
So this is the request, right? The HTTP request and the dummy sampler. The response data you can see. I've got a HTTP request. I've got the data. There are no cookies. So this is the way where you can extract. Let me just show you the code again. So this is the way where you can extract the code and then you can print it out. And in case if you are really interested to know the code, let me just upload the script. Let me save it and uh, let me add that file so that in case if you really want to try it out uh, sorry uh, you can uh, uh, try this file so let me up upload this file mm -hmm. yep and uh, it's in here where is that bean shell sampler bean shell post processor sorry Yep, and let me upload this file. So in case you are interested, you can uh, check out this GitHub. So it, it is under my JMeter underscore test and I have like lots of other files as well in it. And this is adding bean shell post processor JMX file. And if you're interested, you can really uh, get this and you can try it. And I have like several other uh, JMX files in it. So you can try that that as well and yeah with that i come to an end of this video and uh, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, please do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and if you really like it please do give a like it's just it takes a fraction of a second so please do give a like if you like this video and thank you so much for watching this video again and until i meet you in our next video it's bye bye from my dear favorite little side youtube channel take care and bye bye